Students are asking questions after Rhodes University crowned Miss Varsity Shield on the 13th of March 2017. The three finalists stepped onto the field to find out that Kinsani Maseko will represent the university at nationals this month. Miss Varsity Shield runs alongside the Varsity Cup Rugby Tournament. Each contestant promotes herself through Facebook and the contestant with the most number of likes is sent to the top three. Although the winner is meant to be decided by the student body, an unknown panel of judges made the final decision. I was supposed to stand in front of the crowd on the last game and ask the crowd to vote by screaming. So I put my hand over this contestant, another one, and I scream. And then the loudest would be the winner. The crowd had their own idea of who they wanted, but the panel who judged the three contestants had a different like, idea. Bearing from the crowd suggested that the students were not happy with the results. So we should look deeper into that and realise how unhappy the students are and not take it as an attack on one person, maybe just the system itself. The whole idea of all of this is that we choose who we want to represent us, who we think will stand better for the culture we're trying to create. Not only do students feel as though they were unfairly represented, but since voting began, they have questioned the problematic nature of the entire competition. In my opinion, pageants kind of objectify females, women um, of any kind, and I think they're also very um, binarized in the sense that you have to perform a certain kind of femininity. And then males, or the men, rugby kind of thing, there's this you know, um, emphasis on masculinity. And I think the problem comes in where people don't conform to these, to these ideals or to these standards. Many of the contestants see the pageants as a problematic addition to the rugby, but hope to use their position to transform the structure of Miss Varsity Shield. I think they should be used as a platform to challenge like the norm, for example. So I think pageants have come a long way since where they were before, where normally it was just a contest of how you build, what do you look like. Now you find women that are educated, that are doing good things. So when I decided to enter the pageant, it was more of a challenge to change how the pageant would be viewed and um, set the standard as to how it would go going forward. It shouldn't be a popularity contest as it's currently being made and there shouldn't be stereotypes, you know. We should push for the curvy girls to come through. It's nonsense that it has to be about, you know, popularity and everything. It, it should be how, how best can you use your talents to make a difference. This is the first year that Rhodes is joining the event. For now, one thing is clear, Ms. Varsity Shield needs to change. This has been Nanshi Shange for Studio AMM, Grahamstown.